we should just celebrate now what we've been working on the last how many years. Protest or party, tens of thousands turn up to choke up despite 420's cloud of controversy. Good evening, I'm Leanne Young. Thanks for joining us. It is the annual celebration of all things cannabis. 420 was underway today at Vancouver's Sunset Beach, drawing up to 500,000 people. And our Matthew Black was there. Three, two, one! Happy 420! It's a familiar sight, clouds of smoke rising over English Bay in a celebration of all things cannabis. I think it's a great thing that people are embracing it. I think a lot of people who wouldn't otherwise smoke weed are maybe more considering trying it. And I think it's probably a good taboo to get rid of in our society. More than 100,000 people, double from last year, were expected Saturday as they sparked up and smoked up on the first 420 since legalization. We should just celebrate now what we've been working on the last how many years, and now we should just enjoy it live it up and see where it takes us. An event that drew people of all ages and from across the world to Vancouver. We are from Brazil, so for us it's a crime. So it's weird to be here. And it's it's funny to see like how people here are open-minded. A wonderful day, you can just enjoy and smoke and be relaxed, so it's gonna be an awesome day. Disneyland for yeah. them, so. <laughs> But amid the revelry, questions about whether the event that still bills itself as a protest is still needed. With cannabis legal since the fall, some say there's nothing left to protest, while others point to concerns over safety and insurance. I want to recover all costs. I want to see the city recover all of the costs, um, not only from the organizers, but from vendors that are participating. Predictably, those at Sunset Beach today had a different take. I think it's great for the city. I think it's great for Canada. Bit by bit, it'll get there. It doesn't happen overnight, but this doesn't feel like much of a protest to me. <laughs> While others say 420 should live on, but in a different form. I think anyone who's still protesting is uh, fighting a fight. that all that doesn't need to be fought. I think we've come more than far enough, and I think there's more important things we should be focusing on than this. Those questions will linger until next year's event, with more clouds of uncertainty surrounding 420's future. Matthew Black, CBC News, Vancouver. Meanwhile, over on the island, 420 enthusiasts held their own rally on the lawns of the legislature, and it was very different from the one here in Vancouver. There's been a huge shift, and legalization has happened, and cannabis is being accepted now in a way it never has been before. So the island is definitely more about the message and less of the party celebration. This is the first time the event has been held on legislature grounds. Organizers say it is still a protest over the way legalization has been rolled out, including rules about where you can smoke and a restriction on edibles. The legislature allowed the event to go ahead on its lawn, but there was a rule that no sales could take place. And while you aren't allowed to smoke on legislature grounds, there was no enforcement of the rule today. Organizers say they will clean up the lawn before they leave.